It is October 1st, Lego new release day, and we have got loads of very cool new sets coming out today. Some awesome gifts with purchase as well. The Lego store is behind me. Let's go and have a little rummage, shall we? So we have, of course, got the launch of three new themes today. The first of which is the Fortnite theme, which they're making a big deal of in the window. We've, of course, already got three of those. We made a video a couple of days ago, but the one we don't have is the Peely Bone. So I think we're going to be picking that up for Anna today. Um, and they also have one of the gifts of purchase is the Brickheads version of that, which I forget the name of, but we'll go in and uh, grab one of those. I think it's an £80 spend for that. In fact, we've got the gift of purchase details here. So an £80 purchase for the Brickheads Bright Bomber and then a £110 purchase gets the Halloween pumpkin. Um, but we also have a couple more new sets. We've got the Wicked sets, which you can see a couple of at the top there. Um, and the Wednesday sets are out today as well. So lots of new stuff. Plus, of course, Halloween theming everywhere. We've got Barad uh, in, the, uh, in the window as well. Let's go and have a little look to see what they've got. So let's have a little look, shall we? We've got Jaws assembled on a very cool Jaws backdrop. Didn't see that in here when that first came out. Of course, Anna's been making that on the stream and is now nearly finished. Um, I forgot this set was out today. Strangely, there don't seem to be any of these have come off the shelves yet. They're possibly the most hideous art set they've done ever but it exists if you're in the market for it. Please let me know in the comments if you like that set, by the way. Um, we also have the new Farrell Williams tie-in to the new movie. He's got a Lego movie coming out. I don't really understand all these sets. I really like all the very cool colors on the bottom of the rocket. It's actually a very nice set. It's something I might look to pick up at some point, probably not for full price. I'm not exactly a Farrell Williams fan, but it is a very cool looking set. And we are rummaging to see what else they've got in the way of new stuff. I know there's some new botanicals today. I don't think any of those are the new ones. We'll get to them. We'll find them. Um, we do have the Halloween barn, which I think is a new set, plus some Halloween merch stuff. So we've got the little storage heads, some Halloween mugs, very snazzy little key rings as well all the lovely Halloween theming. And then the latest Lego Ideas set, the Magic of Disney set, which was originally going to be a Disney 100 set, but ended up not coming out in time to be a Disney 100 set. So they've removed the little 100, which was on the original Lego Ideas submission. It's actually a smaller box than I thought it was going to be. Only a thousand pieces in that set, but it actually looks better there. I'd quite like to see that built because I, I kind of think Mickey Mouse looks a bit weird on it, but he doesn't look too bad on the box. So maybe not as bad as I thought. Um, this is going to be a, a must purchase for me. The Mario and Yoshi Super Mario World set has um, the little crank on the side. So it's got some animation as part of it as well. Definitely want to be picking up one of those. We'll do a lap of the store first before we start grabbing anything though. Um, and then we stumble across another one of the new sets, Shadow the Hedgehog, which I have now had explained to me the reason that's Shadow rather than Sonic is because he's the new character being introduced as part of the new Sonic 3 movie that's coming out very soon. Just show that, because we just walked past it. I don't think I've seen that assembled yet. That might not be true. I might have seen that assembled at Disneyland. And then we've got a lot of the Animal Crossing stuff assembled i don't think there's anything new in star wars today there's the jabba sail badge but i think that's in a couple of days time i think they're doing a slightly delayed release on that again so i don't think we're going to see that in store today what we have got though is my other must purchase which is the classic tv series batmobile we are definitely going to be coming home with one of those and i think that's the only thing new in Batman or superheroes in general. I don't think there's any new Marvel stuff today off the top of my head. And then we've got some Technic, but I don't think there's anything new in Technic or Speed Champions. I think this is all, this is all the stuff that has been out for a little while, I think. I don't think we've got anything new in those ranges. On the pick a brick wall, they've finally removed all of the, uh, the car stuff that I've had on there 
all summer and obviously with it being Halloween we've got a whole lot of orange that has appeared for making pumpkins. Imagine your perfect pumpkin, fill a cup, take it home, make it real. So loads of, uh, loads of orange pieces. If you're in the market for some orange pieces for Halloween, the pick a brick wall is the place for you at the moment. And then coming around onto the other wall, I don't think we've got anything new in classic or creator today. Ninjago. Again, this is all this is all the stuff that's been in for a little while, I think, in these sections. Dreams, City, I don't think we have anything new. They've kind of spread the advent calendars through the store now. They're not just in a big Christmas area on there. And I think the focus is more on Halloween, keeping Christmas on the on the down low for now. Although they have got a holiday a holiday uh, island bit in the middle of the store, which we'll get to shortly. Um, I think we had our new Harry Potter set last month, didn't we, with the burrow, so I don't think there's anything new in this range. They've still got plenty of the burrow in. Um, they've also got an assembled Gringotts as well, which I've not seen in store for a little while. And then Friends. That's, I always look at that, that's a cool set. Some of the Friends stuff is very cool. And then we have one of our other new themes. So we've got Wednesday. I think there's those three sets out for Wednesday, including the Brickheads, which do look snazzy. I've not seen the show, so I'm unlikely to pick it up, but it does look good. Um, I'm surprised to see the Wednesday and Wicked stuff so mingled in with the traditionally really like kiddie end of the store in with the Friends and the Disney and right next to the Duplo. I guess they're being targeted at a much younger age range than I expected them to be. But I mean, it's a 10 plus set, so I guess that's to be expected. Um, same with the Wicked stuff. So Wicked is an eight plus set, even got the mini dolls in there. Are they both mini doll sets? I think they are. So yeah, very much targeting the Disney, Lego Friends kind of audience. That is quite a cool looking set. And then we have all of the holiday stuff. So a few new bits in this. We've got the brand new Santa's post office which I probably need to pick up for the Winter Village. The new botanical wreath is great as well. I think Anna wants one of those. And we've also got the brand new Santa's delivery truck in. So plus there's the other new botanical as well, the poinsettia down at the bottom there. And we don't have, oh, we do have, we have the Santa's post office assembled there with the awesome hot air balloon. I'm into hot air balloons at the moment, having just made the Fortnite battle bus. So looking forward to making another one of those as part of that set. And then we've got all the advent calendars on here as well. Last year's Winter Village set, the Alpine Lodge is down there. I'm not sure if there's anything new in Build a Minifig today. I can't see anything assembled. You would think there'd be some halloween -y stuff in here somewhere. We might be able to find them somewhere else in the store already assembled. And then we have a little island for Fortnite as well. So there's the Peely Bone set that we need to pick up for Anna, the only 18 plus set in the series. And there it is assembled as well, along with two of the other sets. If you want to see the Battle Bus assembled, we did a video a couple of days ago. You can go and have a look at that on there. And then we have quite a nice little display of the recent Lego store employee builder minifigs. Um, I've not seen him as a keyring in recent trips, so that might be a new one. And then we've got the full Dungeons and Dragons range, there's the Halloween barn as well, and here's the two gifts of purchase. So it's £110 spend for the pumpkin, £80 spend for the Bright Bomber. I don't think that's a spend just on Fortnite, I think that's a spend on anything will get you that, so you don't have to buy the Fortnite sets. I hope you don't have to, because we've already got them. And I want the Bright Bomber. And then we've got a few more of the uh, the Brickheads there. And then the last one of these little islands is the Despicable Me display, which I don't think we've got anything new in this. It's just obviously a very snazzy, popular set. Okay, there's a possibility. We got a little carried away there. I will show you everything we bought when I get back to the car. And I am back home and I have very wet hair. It's pouring down my rain out there. 
Um, but I have three big bags full of stuff. So if we start off with the one nearest to me, which I think I'm just going to take stuff out as it comes out. So we obviously got one of these. In fact, we got two of these um, because I was always going to get this. And then I got a text message from Anna just as I was leaving the shop with her little shopping list of things that she wanted as well. So um, I'm not sure if this is mine or Anna's, but this looks great. Um, it's got the little uh, the little crank handle thing. There you go, on the side there. Um, and he basically, uh, I think Yoshi's legs go back and forth and Mario bobs up and down. And it's just a really cool set. Very much my era of Mario. So very much up for that one. This is definitely a bag that must have my name on it because we have the other big set that was definitely a high priority for me today. The classic TV series Batmobile. It's the big version of the smaller one that we've already had previously. I've had a few people have a little bit of a moan about lack of moving parts, no engine, loads of stuff that I don't really care about. All I care about is the fact that it's a very cool looking Batmobile. So on that basis, very happy with that one that can go in the Batmobile collection that is behind me next to where I've got my little Marvel display. And then I actually got three gifts of purchase with with that stuff. So the £110 purchase Halloween set, which is the pumpkin and the, uh, the little ghost on a stick. Is that actually light up? I mean, it looks, yeah, there you go. Light brick included. So it's actually a light up pumpkin, which is quite cool. Um, they gave me one of these. When I went to the till, he tried to give me just this gift of purchase. And I said, do I not get the bright bomber as well? And he went, oh yeah, sorry, that one's, um, that one's an expired promo, but we've still got a few left. I'll pop that in as well. And he went and grabbed this and put it in. And I'm like, well, thank you for my Batman. But do I get the four, do, do I get the Fortnite brickheads? He was like, oh yeah, of course you do. So he grabbed that as well. So I also have the uh, the Bright Bomber Fortnite brickheads. So that means between me and Anna, we do have the full set of the Fortnite range. Um, we've got one of these each as well. So that's the first of these three bags. We then have the other bag of stuff for me. So the Santa's post office. There you go. I'll hold it up so it focuses on that. The Santa's post office with the uh, with the very cool hot air balloon, the little uh, the little Santa minifig. I, I, mean, I just like this. I'm very much looking forward to getting started on my winter village in the very near future. And uh, that is going to be a key part of it. As is this. Um, the lady in the Lego store, as I went to the till, um, I kind of just turned around and ran back towards the entrance. And as I was running back, she was like, yeah, you have to get the uh, the Santa's delivery truck to go with the post office. She knew exactly what I was rushing back for. Um, I think this is a very cool looking set. Little, uh, little delivery truck. You know I love me a delivery truck. I think that's... I'm surprised. I mean, it feels like it should be a gift with purchase. I'm surprised it wasn't a gift with purchase with that rather than being a separate thing. Um, rather than maybe like the Brickhead Sprite Bomber could have easily been a set they sold for £10. But they chose that to be the gift with purchase. And then the one that felt gift with purchasey becomes the thing you buy. Sometimes I don't claim to understand what's going on with Lego. And then in the bag of stuff that I added afterwards for Anna, um, she didn't actually ask for this one, but I was always getting her this as a little gift today anyway. Um, she likes the botanical stuff, um, and I just figured this would be a nice thing to have as part of our Christmas decorations that we could pull out every year. I don't expect we're going to put it on the front door of the house because it's a £90 Lego set and would probably get ruined or stolen, but it can certainly be uh, be in the living room and be something that gets put away every year with our Christmas decorations, pulled out every year, and can be uh, something that we are, have on display for many, many years to come. And then we also have the Peely Bone, the last of the Fortnite sets, the one that we didn't get sent as a uh, as a preview gift. Um, this is the one that Anna identified right away when, this, when the uh, range was announced. This was the one that she wanted. So... Uh, I think she was probably always going to get it. I'm surprised when I left home this morning to say I was going to the Lego store. She didn't want to come with me. She didn't want to buy anything to say. I think she was just sleepy. Um, but yeah, it was probably about 10 o'clock. Just as I was leaving, I got a text with the list of things that she wanted. This was top of the list. And then the other thing she wanted was one of these. So I said, I've already got that. And she's like, I want one too. So we've got two of those between us. And she was also very clear to make sure that I did it as two separate transactions mine and hers because she wanted the uh 
the gift of purchase as well. So we've got two more of those. And that concludes what I would consider to be a pretty successful October the 1st Lego haul, especially when you factor in the Fortnite sets we'd already got as well. I haven't done the numbers yet. It's probably the best part of a thousand pounds worth of Lego, including the Fortnite stuff that we got gifted. Um, we did use some insider points for some of the stuff and um, obviously some of it we've doubled up on the Mario set, some of the gifts of purchase. Uh, but all in all, I think it's... It's a very impressive haul. October the 1st was always going to be an expensive one for us because the sets that were coming out looked great and there's still stuff that I know Anna's likely to pick up further down the line as well, like the Wednesday stuff, like the Wicked stuff. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a good launch. And now, of course, we look ahead to the 1st of November because 1st of November hasn't been officially announced yet, but cross everything i think first of november this time next month i finally get my most wanted set of the year the x mansion so and in the month after it's the new modular so it, i mean it's not cheap is it this hobby goodness me let me know down in the comments what you picked up on october 1st or what you're planning on picking up um and if you've enjoyed this video please leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for loads more lego content and thank you very much for watching